An automatic transmission is a type of gearbox that shifts gears automatically, without requiring the driver to operate a clutch or manual gear lever. In this video, we will explore the operating principles of automatic transmissions, examine their main components and functions, and explain the various types used in modern vehicles. Please subscribe, like, and comment to support our channel. Now, let's start with the operating principles. Step 1. When the driver shifts into the drive and presses the accelerator, the engine's crankshaft begins to rotate. This rotation increases fluid pressure inside the torque converter, which transfers engine power to the transmission's input shaft. Step 2. As the vehicle accelerates, the system monitors several parameters, including vehicle speed, engine RPM, and throttle position. These signals are collected by sensors and sent to the electronic control unit, or ECU. The ECU processes this information in real time and determines the optimal moment to shift gears for maximum efficiency and performance. Step 3. Based on the data received, the ECU sends signals to control hydraulic valves inside the transmission. These valves direct pressurized fluid to specific clutches and bands within the planetary gear set, engaging the appropriate gear ratio. Step 4. During gear changes, the torque converter ensures a smooth and continuous flow of power from the engine to the wheels. This prevents any jerking or interruptions, allowing for a more comfortable driving experience. This process repeats automatically as the vehicle accelerates, decelerates, or maintains speed. Next, let's examine the main components of an automatic transmission and understand their individual roles in the system. The torque converter connects the engine to the transmission. It uses fluid dynamics to transfer rotational power from the engine to the transmission input shaft. This component also allows the engine to keep running while the vehicle is stationary, and it enables smooth acceleration from a stop. The planetary gear set is the core of an automatic transmission. It consists of a sun gear, planet gears, and a ring gear. By locking or releasing different elements using clutches and bands, the transmission creates various gear ratios to adjust torque and speed. The hydraulic system uses transmission fluid to operate internal valves. These valves control which clutches and bands are activated, directly influencing gear selection. The electronic control unit, or ECU, is the brain of the transmission. It processes data from sensors, such as vehicle speed, throttle position, and engine load, then decides when and how to shift gears for optimal performance and fuel efficiency. Now let's review the main types of automatic transmissions found in modern vehicles. Torque converter automatic, traditional. This is the most widely used type. It uses a torque converter and planetary gear sets, and has been the standard in most vehicles for decades. Continuously variable transmission, CVT. CVTs, or continuously variable transmissions, use a system of pulleys and a belt instead of fixed gears. This allows for an infinite number of gear ratios and results in ultra-smooth acceleration. Dual-clutch transmission, DCT. Dual-clutch transmissions use two separate clutches for odd and even gear sets. This enables rapid and seamless gear changes, commonly found in performance and sports vehicles. AMTs are manual transmissions with automated gear selection and clutch control. They are simpler and more cost-effective but may not offer the smoothness of other systems. Automatic transmission systems are engineered to deliver comfort, efficiency, and ease of use. They eliminate the need for manual shifting while intelligently adapting to driving conditions. We've covered how automatic transmissions work, their key components, and the different types available. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe, like, and leave a comment below. Your support helps us create more high-quality, informative, and engaging content. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.